this thing is as easy as it gets when it comes to prepping, uh, slicing, dicing, julienning, all of your materials to get your dishes ready, right? So we've got wonderful colors for you. It's got the safety handle, so you never, your fingers are never coming near there. Free shipping and handling on an item that, gosh, we've sold over 110,000. And to tell us all about it is one of our kitchen guests, Mr. John Florell. Hello. Sir, I use this, I would say, two, three times a week. <laughs> yeah, it saves a lot of time, right? So much time. I mean, everybody's got knives in their kitchen drawer, and uh, knives do have their place in the kitchen. Sure. Okay. But talk about saving time, and that's what this does. But the best part about this mandolin is that it's all in one. Right. It's got the knobs on the side, so everything is here. You're not looking for parts, pieces, this, that, the other thing. Now, it's got eight different slicing thicknesses. All you do is turn the knob on the side. You can actually hear it click yep. to each selection of the thickness, okay? I'll take it down to the thickest slice, and I'll show you with a potato how it works, because whether it's a potato, tomato, onion, you start at the top of the machine, and by the way, you'll see the rubber feet on the bottom. It fits over any size salad bowl. Right. It'll fit on your countertop, in a, on, you know, or you can do this on a cutting board. You start at the top, slide it to the table, back up to the top, down to the table. The razor sharp German stainless steel blade does the work for you. All right. It, I mean, it's razor sharp, but that's also why we give you a safety holder. I mean, when you get close to your fingers, <laughs> hey, if you've ever slipped on one of these old four sided <laughs> tin can knuckle busters, all right, you'll appreciate the safety holder. It works with four stainless steel pins on the inside that hold onto the food. When you push it over your food, that button on top, that plunger pops up and as you're slicing through your vegetable, fruit, meat, or cheese, all you do is push down on the button and it feeds it right down to the end. So with no waste and no fingers, you get perfect slices for pan fries or home fries. Oh, so but good. here's probably one of the hardest things you'll ever have to slice in the kitchen. <laughs> and it's there because nobody's got a knife sharp enough. I was going to say, there's right? never a knife sharp no, enough. You're I mean, right. if, you, if you look like this, trying to slice a tomato, <laughs> yep. you ever stab one to get it started? And yes. Right, with the knife? And what about you get it all mushy because you're just trying to cut into it, sure. <laughs> Take a look at this. For salads, sandwiches, for, for uh, you'll love this for heroes and hamburgers, and there's never any waste. It takes it right down to the very last slice. But look at those slices. Perfect for your salads, your mm. sandwiches, or for if you want to do thicker slices on your potatoes for pan fries or mm -hmm. home fries. I use They're this all the I same. used this the other day on 4th of July yeah. and I got lettuce, I got right. I got coleslaw done, gone, I did my tomatoes, I did my onions for my burgers. And I mean, you will use this onions, all the time. You know, slicing onions for burgers or for salads yep. or for sautéing, watch this because if this is the only thing you use it for. I yep. mean, you'll use it for every Listen, if you do any pickling, grab a cucumber. You can make bread and butter pickles or cucumbers, so you slice cucumber for cucumber and onion salad. You can nickel down carrots for can Canning, sliced beets for pickling. I've been doing I mean, radishes. I, it, it, radishes John, for salads. I am obsessed and, with radishes these days. And they all come days, out yeah. exactly the same. And mm. that's why you're going to love a mandolin. There's that. no way you could do that that safe, fast, and easy with a knife. But I'll tell you, for your onions, for your hamburgers, like you mentioned, mm. I mean, you ever notice when you're trying to slice onions thin with a knife, the, the more you cry, the thicker the slices always <laughs> end up? <laughs> I mean, you, you want to get the job giant done? Giant Look at this. I mean, I just sliced an entire onion without a tear in my eye you get perfect look, uniform look, look, look at that i mean each slice is perfect for your backyard barbecued hamburgers mm. and of course for salads for sauteing it makes sense if they're sliced evenly they'll saute up evenly yes. they'll, they'll cook up or bake up evenly and even with something like as delicate as a bell pepper take a knife snip the end with the stem off reach inside pull the heart and seeds out Okay, and now with that safety holder, take a look at this. I mean, you want to talk look about uniform, even, paper thin slices for peppers and onions. I mean, there is no, I, you could have a thousand dollar knife and hands like a brain surgeon. Yeah. You, there's no way that you could slice that safe, that fast, Without that a doubt. easy. And I want you to look at these slices. Every one is exactly the same thickness as mm -hmm. the last. I mean, I can pick up any two in here. They're I exactly know. the same. And that's why you're gonna love a mandolin. But what what this machine was originally developed to do over a hundred years ago in Germany, they were originally made, mandolins were, they originated from cabbage boards. Uh, 
for making sauerkraut. Of course. You'll love it for coleslaw. Look Long, stringy coleslaw that'll melt right into your mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can do this with iceberg lettuce on taco night, mm. uh, for shredded uh, lettuce for tacos. But I'll tell you, look at the, I mean, that comes out of there more like shredded it's wheat like than shredded. angel hair, yeah. <laughs> now, if you like it thicker, all you do is adjust the blade. Like we made uh, 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 corned beef and cabbage last night, mm -hmm. all right? And I'll tell you what, corned beef and cabbage is great, but I want, I like the cabbage thicker like this, right. okay? It comes out perfect. Now, here's the difference. If I if I pop this blade up, if I turn these blade, Ooh, this knob, see that. those teeth? Those are the julienning blades and your chopping blades. So if you want to do a medium-sized dice for deli-style coleslaw, look at that. All you do is pop those teeth up, and look at this. You can mince cabbage deli-style. Oh my in gosh! I mean, look at how much we just made in a matter of what, like less than so, five seconds. So look at what John has <laughs> accomplished it just with one tool. <laughs> Right. Instead of pulling out a different knife for a different job, or instead of going and crying while you're, you're yep. doing your onions, it is one tool. <laughs> and when you're looking for a mandolin, you should be looking for three things. You should be looking for the quality of the blade. Yeah. You should be looking for how easily it cleans up and how easily it stores. Sure. This is it. And this is this is one of the first purchases I made at HSM because as John <laughs> demoed away, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing ever. I do enjoy cooking, but everybody that cooks at home knows that what takes the most time is the prep. So yeah. now you're getting through your prep work. It's a breeze. It's got the safety features. I never use mine like John does without the safety. I always put my hands in it. I don't care if it's at the top of the potato. Well, if it's something I'm always long, taking care of myself. If it's something long like celery yep. like this, you can do one stalk at a time if you it's want. Got it all. But just grab the whole bunch like this and look at this just brush it through those blades <laughs> you that. can chop more celery for stuffing soups and stews in 10 seconds than you could chop in 10 minutes with a knife and you know where you're going to love this not just for celery i mean that's going to save you a ton of time come the holidays for your mm -hmm. homemade stuffing right. but where you're really going to love it is for mincing onions if this is the only thing you use this for yep, yep. it's worth its weight in gold Without i mean if you think about it how much how many tears do you shed <laughs> mincing onions or dicing onions Onions. Mm -hmm. Now this machine does it in seconds, and you get a perfect mince for tuna fish, for chicken salad, for homemade meatloaf on taco night. Now the difference, see, with something solid, yep. it won't mince. Right. All right. Take a potato, a beet, an apple, a carrot, a pear. All you do is brush it through. Something solid. See, onions grow in rings, and the rings separate, but anything solid comes right. out like a shoestring french Look fry. Look at that. Right? You oh get my gosh, that do apple julienne. fries. Do apple oh, fries here. like that. Now, let me give them the colors, John, real quickly. Sure. I know you're jumping in right now. We've got six amazing colors for you. Um, we've got it in the black. We've got the red, which is the most popular right now, right now selling, outselling all the colors. We've got the blue. The orange, most limited? 1,500 of the orange. Okay, we've oh, wow. got it in the green, and we also have it in the purple. Over 110,000 of these sold. Why? It is probably the easiest mandolin you will ever own, and it does come with that safety guard, which for me is peace of mind. You will power through all your prep work look and this. look at that. You wanted those matchstick apples? It's perfect for a quick, healthy afternoon Yum. snack for the kids. Hey, try this at home. Melt down some caramel in a bowl in the microwave. The kids have their own little apple caramel, uh, oh caramel gosh, apple dip that way. Or, hey, just for French fries, I mean, what do you spend on mm. frozen French fries in the supermarket? Nope. You spend a, a fortune. Yeah. Right? And there's there's preservatives and additives inside. Look at this. Take a potato, brush it through those blades. It's like having 12 little knives all working at the same time. Look at that. To give you perfect shoestring French fries in and seconds. And John, look, every I mean, single one of them. As soon as they consistent. hit the hot oil, they'll yep. be done. Yep. Now, if you want bigger French fries, here's a little <clears throat> tip for you. Okay. All you do is turn the knob on the side. Now, you don't have to remember what I'm showing you here, okay? You get instructions with the machine. Mm -hmm. There's words for the numbers, pictures for the, like, if it, words and numbers, you know, to, you can figure it out. But watch this. Here, it's I easy. gotta show you the thick and chunky, and you'll love Ooh. this for potatoes, for big steak fries like you get in the restaurants. You'll mm. love it. You can do this with uh, beets, apples, carrots, pears. Hey, the zucchini comes out great for a vegetable tray with a sour cream or an avocado dip. Or here, even for carrots, I mean, how many times have you wanted carrot sticks or you buy these in the store, they make those relish trays up for you. Mm -hmm. I've seen relish trays sell in the store for 60, 70, 80 dollars for a relish that. tray made up for you. Hey, a little sour cream or avocado dip. Now you can make your own vegetable trays. How cool. Save that money. I mean, you make one relish tray with this machine, it's paid for itself the first time you use it. Look I mean, at that. John. Look at the carrot sticks. So very popular right now. 211114 is your item.
item number. You can get this home, free shipping, less than $10. When I bought this, I bought one for every family member. So I bought one for my mom's house, oh, one I for know. my it's, sister, one hey, for me. For house warmings, weddings, anniversaries, because divorces, if you're any doing happy occasion. Any cooking. I mean, any cooking cook. requires prep work. If you're making drinks, it requires pep, prep Look work. I mean, with your limes and your lemons. Right. Any kitchen thing that you do requires prep work. And this makes it a breeze. We're slicing, we're dicing, we're chopping, yeah. we're julienning even the roughest fruits and vegetables. Even something like, hey, try this. If you've never Pretty. tried star fruit or, or or a dragon fruit before that's delicious the kids love it too but look at this you can slice it up perfect beautiful garnish your salad with that for a fruit salad How they come out perfect mm. and of course again it's not like a knife where you get one thick slice then one thin slice right these all come out exactly the same thickness so it's never not like it's not like a knife and which you know, means that if you're doing it on potatoes or if you're doing it on peppers on cabbage right. for your stir fries everything is cooking up quickly yep. and evenly right and even for things like well here even limes, lemons, oranges. Mm. Hey, if, if you have a bartender in your life, they'll love this for slicing up the uh, the fruit for the cocktails, mm -hmm. okay? They all come out exactly the same. And for apples, here's what I love about this, okay? I have a dehydrator at home, and for dehydrating, you need uniform slicing, but you also want it paper thin. Right. Take a look at this. For paper thin slices, for dehydrating, apples, bananas, kiwi fruit, again, lemon, lime, orange, tangerine. There's no way, you couldn't even do that with a knife. It's, I mean, it's like a playing it's card. It's like apple chips, Isn't that right? Cool? I know. Yeah, you can't lose with the chips I use <laughs> if you've got a hot poker game. But I mean, even think, you know, and I'll tell you what, here's what I love about this machine it is literally the most versatile tool you will ever use in the kitchen, and, I'll, and here's why. All right, I've shown you chopping, slicing, dicing, chipping, mm -hmm. shredding. We've made French fries. We've made coleslaw. It'll even take corn off the cob four or five rows at a time. Whether your corn's blanched, cooked, raw, it makes no that. difference. Uh, for creaming or steaming, for boiled or buttered corn, for corn relish, for corn chowder, you're going to love this. Just as a corn stripper, if you've ever used a knife to take corn off the cob, look at that. And then if there's anything left on the cob, you can use the ridge along the side to milk your cob for your cream corn, what? for your succotash, look for your that. soups, stews, for corn relish or corn chowder. So smart, yeah, That way John. you don't waste anything. But look at that. I mean, but don't you find that in the world of mandolins, this is, this is the most affordable and yeah. the simplest one? It's the most a lot versatile. Of them with different attachments and different pieces. A lot of them are bigger and clunkier. This one is the, the most simple to use. It is the easiest to store, the easiest to claim, the best price. We're about to cross a thousand sold, everybody. We still have all the colors. The red is the most popular. $10 free shipping to get it home to your favorite home cook. Hey, if you're into wok cooking, I mean, this is a great slice for celery for your soups or stews. But if you have a wok at home or do any stir fries, stir fries are quick and easy to cook. Now with this little machine, they're quick and easy to cut. You get those long stir fry cuts for wok cooking. Right. There's 26 different ways just to cut celery with this machine. Run it through with those teeth and now you're making celery spears for your stir fries or for garnishing a salad. I mean, literally this machine does everything but the cooking. And John, <laughs> you know what's really nice is that every professional, every nutritionist on the planet wants us to eat more fruit and vegetable, but it's a pain to 